experiences in life for you. You never learned anything unless it was associated with some type of discomfort or pain. Anybody ever study for a test? Is it not uncomfortable? You see what I mean? Yet we forget when we over here, everything we do is a test. Everything is a test. But if we don't have the order of Yah sit up right, there's a nation we, we can't go. If you have unresolved issues in your heart right now, how are you going to make it if we, if we have to go into a wilderness experience? You ever thought about that before? You'll be surprised what you could be con content with. I had a trailer, man, I lived in for the longest that had a plastic wall up. Spring, summer, winter, and fall. I peed and crapped in the bucket for nine years. Didn't bother, didn't bother me or the bucket once. One day Carol said, sure, it would be nice to get a tub. I said, okay. Driving one day and lo and behold, y'all blessed me with a tub. So did, found it on the side of the road. I said, see, you ask and look. <laughs> see, she asked for a tub, but she didn't specify what kind of tub. So don't get upset when y'all provide. So I gladly bought that tub in, in there, drilled a hole in the floor, tied some plastic tube into it and ran the gray water on the outside of the ground and I said, there you go. And she said, what about running water? I said, get that bucket, run to the creek. And run right back on in here and you got running water. <laughs> and, and most of y'all like, I ain't no, I can't. <laughs> You ain't fine until Boo Boo is floating in a bucket of water in it, a toilet of water. Isn't that something? So guess what though? But I know if mother get out in the wilderness, all her complaints been removed. Uh-oh. Yours are still there. Because you refuse, you refuse the grinding process. And I tell them the truth, all y'all Israelites live together. There is stuff in you, you would have never, ever experienced if you were still in the world. See, everything's a test. <laughs> 